In this presentation, we will discuss closing the polling place. Any voter in line at 8 p.m. must be allowed to vote. You should send the greeter judge or another judge out to locate the last voter in line at 8 p.m. Hand them the last voter in line card. It's pink. Have the voter sign the card or station an election judge at the end of the line. If you are scheduled to work all day or through the close of polls, please stay until all tasks are completed unless instructed by your head judge. Every election judge folder has instructions on closing the polls, cleaning up, and returning the items to Washington County or to your mun municipal clerk. After 8 p.m. and when your polling place no longer has voters, the head judge will locate the items needed to help close the polls. Look for the canvas bag, the check-in and EDR certificate envelopes, which will be in the poll pad folder, and the used voter receipt plastic bag. Also, use the close of polls checklist found in the head judge, head judge folder and assign tasks as needed. Before proceeding to any other closing duties, you'll want to make sure that all ballots have been counted through the tabulator. Please check the auxiliary compartment of the black ballot box. Check all voting booths for abandoned ballots and check the inside of the auto mark. Poll pad judges should count and balance to their individual poll pad. The physical check-in certificates in the basket should equal the number of check-ins on the poll pad screen. The same for the EDR forms. The physical number of certificates in the EDR basket should equal what is on your poll pad screen. As we discussed in the poll pad module, we have updated our check-in and EDR certificate envelopes. Remember to keep the certificates from each poll pad separate until you have completed the worksheet on your envelope and the precinct is balanced. Once the precinct is balanced, the certificates may be put into the envelope and sealed. Then the envelopes go into the canvas bag. Remember that the check-in envelope and the EDR envelope should only contain the type of certificates as listed on the envelope. You may be assigned to remove ballots from the ballot box and to begin to count the ballots. It is very important to get down and look into the ballot box for any ballots that may be stuck to the side or back of the box due to static electricity. When counting the ballots, it's a good idea to count in batches of 25 or 50. The ballots should be counted by at least two election judges. Record the count on the summary statement sheet. The total physical ballots taken from the ballot box should equal the total check-in certificates from all the poll pads, and this should also match the number on the DS-200 screen. If this doesn't match, look to your incident log for reasons why you may not balance. Also, use the troubleshooting help in the Balance the Precinct instructions or call Washington County. The first thing that we always recommend is that you recount the number of ballots that you pulled out of the machine. Once you are balanced, it's time to shut down all of the equipment. Pack up the poll pads. Make sure that the printer, the poll pad, both match the label on the case, so all the numbers are the same. Then locate the DS200 folder and follow the instructions to close the polls, modem, and shut down your machine. Follow the instructions in the Automark folder for turning off and packing up the Automark. Lastly, don't forget to pack up the MiFi. The election judge responsible for closing down the DS200 will need to be sure to print results tapes for each gold envelope inside the head judge folder. Instructions on how to print additional results tapes can be found in the DS200 manual. If you have any issues, call Washington County. Once the machines have been turned off, remove any seals and memory cards from the DS200 and the Automark. You'll verify the seal numbers on the precinct certification form next and ensure that the judges sign the bottom of the form. An important part of closing the polls is completing the summary statement. 
see the instructions in the head judge folder for completing this summary statement. All election judges must sign this statement. Use the information to complete the results tape. Write the seal numbers of the DS200 and the automark on all of, all of the tapes. Also, every judge working at 8 p.m. must sign the results tapes. A minimum of four election judge signatures are required on every results tape. Three judges are required for the primary if your 7 a.m. number of registered voters is under 500 voters. Once the tapes have been signed and any information from the statistics form has been transferred to the results tape, please insert the results tape into the envelopes. There should be one results tape for each envelope in the head judge folder. Seal the summary tape envelopes. A minimum of four election judges must sign the sealed envelope. If the duplicate ballot envelope or spoiled and defective ballot envelopes have been used, have a minimum of four election judges sign the attached seal. Then affix the signed label to the envelope to seal it closed. Return the sealed envelope in the canvas bag. If either of the envelopes are not used, return them to the ballot and demonstration judge folder. Before putting your ballots into transfer cases, you'll need to count the write-ins on the voted ballots. This is for general elections only. You need to check each ballot for write-ins. This include any write-ins where the, the oval was not filled in. In the head judge folder, you will receive a declared write-ins list for the offices of federal, state, county, and judicial. You only need to count the names included on this declared write-ins list. All write-ins for the offices of, of municipal or school district should be counted. Write-in forms and tally worksheets are located in the head judge folder. In the head judge folder are transfer case identifiers and transfer case seals. Please use these labels only. Only voted ballots go into the transfer cases. The transfer case identifier is the smaller label and is placed on the end cap of the transfer case. Instructions for placement are printed on the label. The label should include your precinct name, including the city and precinct number. Also, the date of the election should be pre-printed on the identifier. The transfer case seal is a full sheet label and is placed over the opening of the transfer case to seal it closed. Instructions for placement are on the label. The seal should include the total number of ballots in the transfer case, the total number of boxes used, so if you used more than one transfer case, it would say something like box one of two and box two of two. If you use just one box, it should say box one of one. Also, a minimum of four election judge signatures must be on the transfer case seal. As a reminder, any non-voted ballots are returned to your municipal clerk or to Washington County. The cities of Birchwood, Forest Lake, Grant, Lakeland, Landfall, Oakdale, Pine Springs, and Woodbury will return the non-voted ballots to Washington County on election night in their original boxes. Everyone else will return their non-voted ballots to the municipal clerk. We have an items to return to Washington County checklist and it's located in the close the polls area of the head judge folder. This checklist hopefully will help you to know where things go and what gets returned to your municipal clerk and what things should come to Washington County. Especially take note of the asterisk symbol for the cities that will return different things to Washington County than to the municipal clerk. Any forms in your folders not used should be left in the folder for the next election. The return in the canvas bag list is quite long, as you can see. This list is also on the items to return to Washington County and is separated by the type of item it is. So please use that list to help you understand what needs to go into the canvas bag. 
We will be going through your Canvas bag at various stations when you come into Washington County on election night. So please make sure that all of these things are in the bag. Return office supplies, such as pens, paper clips, binders, tape, calculators, and markers in the clear supply boxes if provided or as directed by the city clerk. Other supplies, such as clipboards, extension cords, power strips, these will be returned in the blue box or to the municipal clerk as they were given to you. If you are working as an election judge for the cities of Birchwood, Forest Lake, Grant, Lakeland, Landfall, Oakdale, Pine Springs, or Woodbury, you should leave these items listed in the polling location where you found them in the morning. The auto mark, the ballot box, the voting booths, these all must be taken down and stacked, the vote here A-frame signs, and the American flag. Election judges should return or clean up items as directed by the facility you're working in. These might include leftover food and beverages, tables, chairs, the flag that was displayed by the entrance of the polling location. The posted signs from the Secretary of State should be removed from the walls and easels and returned in the posters and signs plastic bag. All tape should be removed before placing the signs into the bag. If you have a sign board, please fold that up and return it to Washington County. Once all surfaces are cleared, please wipe them down with a disinfectant spray. Voting booths and ballot boxes are never returned to Washington County. They should be folded up and stacked, ready for pickup. When taking down voting booths, be sure to put the legs that were attached to the voting booth inside their cases. Forest Lake, Grant, Landfall, Pine Springs, Oakdale, and Woodbury should return any empty transfer cases to Washington County. All other municipalities will need to check with their municipal clerks regarding what to do with these items. Once all the tasks have been completed and you're all packed up, the head and co-judge will be bringing the items back to Washington County. We thank you for your attention to this video and we thank you in advance for your detailed work on election day. As always, if you have any questions, please don't hesitate to call us at 651-430-6790. Thank you for watching this training. Before you go, please complete all quizzes. If you are hired by Washington County, you must complete the quizzes and your certification will automatically be sent to Washington County. If you are hired by a municipal clerk, follow the instructions given by them. There are additional unpaid training resource links available. The 2022 Election Judge Guide and the 2022 Election Judge Workbook.